Hey there, in this video I'm going to show you how to upload your logo and your favicon to your BigCommerce store. Before we get started, my name is Cal, and if you find this helpful, hit subscribe so you can see my weekly videos about how to grow your e-commerce store. All right, let me share my screen and I'll walk you guys through it. It's pretty easy on BigCommerce. You go to Storefront and then Logo, and then that'll bring up a screen that looks like this, and it'll actually let you input your logo and your favicon both in the same spot. I don't know why it doesn't say logo and favicon, but that's where the favicon is. All right, so I have some logos prepared here. I have this one that's entirely too big. I have this one that's vertical, which is not going to look good on my website, but I'm going to use this to make the favicon. And then I have one that I size down to around 250. Now, you know, I built I built a lot of sites. 250 width is a good width. Um, it could be a little bit less, sometimes a little bit more, but 250 is kind of a good middle of the road width for a logo uh, without getting too crazy big and too crazy small. And something to know about the logo as you upload it into BigCommerce, when you upload it here, this is the same logo that's going to go on your printed media, like your invoice and your packing slip. So if you upload something that's really big, like 600 or 1,000 pixels wide, it's going to be massive on the, your invoice and your packing slip. And then your customer is going to get in and say, wow, these guys really like their logo because it goes the whole width of the page, right? All right, so we want to have one that's already sized down. Again, this is to 250 width right here. So I'm going to just drag it out of view. And all you got to do is just drag the logo right under here to upload it, just like that. And down here it says recommended for recommended size for your theme 100 by 45. Just don't listen to that. Um, that's just too small. Nobody's going to read a 100 pixel wide logo. Um, you can see how small it looks here. So what you can do is you can uh, go to this uh, drop down where it says optimize for your theme. Go ahead and change that to original as uploaded. Now, if this ends up being a little bit too big, I would recommend still leaving this as original and just having a developer use a, one line of CSS to make it a little bit smaller. But this 250 width is going to be a pretty good size on your logo, uh, your logo material like your pack, printing your packing slip and your invoice. Man, if I can get my words out. All right, so it's uploaded at 250. I'm gonna go ahead and just save it. We can look at it on the front by going like this. And there you go. You can see it looks pretty good at that size. All right, so we're good on the logo. Now we just need to do the favicon. Now, a lot of, a lot of, uh, a lot of frameworks require you to upload an ICO file, uh, which people have difficulty coming up with. A lot of frameworks also uh, make you load one even smaller than this, usually like 16 by 16, I think is what a lot of them do. Um, BigCommerce will let you upload a little bit bigger one, which is nice, and they'll, they'll let you upload it in a PNG, a GIF, or a JPEG. Now, I don't know if it can be an animated GIF. I've never tried that, but apparently you can do a GIF, so maybe. All right, so what we need, we need this 32 by 32 pixel PNG probably, right? And my logo and your logo probably isn't sized exactly perfectly. So I'm going to go to my friendly little Canva tool here at canva.com, and I'm going to click Create a Design, and I'm going to tell it it's a custom size and to make it 32 by 32. Oh, they want it even bigger. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually make it twice that big. I'm going to make it 64 by 64, and then I'm going to size it down when we export it. All right, so it's 64 by 64. Now I'm going to drag my uh, logo into this. Maybe it's going to take a minute to load. I drag it in. Okay, there it is. Okay, so it's in there. It, it kind of shrinks it a little bit when you initially drag it, but I guarantee you this has been entered as larger than 64 by 64. So I'm going to be fine to increase the size like this. And I'm going to do this and try and get it really like right, right to the edge on side to side, like really close to the edge. Okay. And then I'm going to make sure that it's centered as well as I can horizontally. And then I'm going to center it vertically and make sure that those letters down below don't show through. All right. 
and it's just not quite centered. All right, well, I guess this is this will work. Now it's going to end up being much smaller than this. Like this is a this is going to be a 32 by 32 little square. So it's going to be this tiny. It's not going to be this big, right? Um, this is zoomed in plus it's too large for what I'm doing. Now you can see that when I uploaded this, it didn't upload it with a background because I was working from a PNG. If you uploaded this from a background, you might want to come in here, click edit image and use this premium feature of Canva, which will cost you like eight bucks a month or something to remove your background. That way you don't have like a white background behind your image and it'll show your, your icon, you know, color against gray, like big commerce's icon has appeared in one of my mini tabs. All right. Um, so I've got it sized right. I have it centered right and I'm happy. It's not showing any of the text down there. So I really just don't have anything to worry about. Uh, I'm just going to do that. Okay. Now all I got to do is export this. And so I'm going to go to share and then download. Keep it here as a PNG. Otherwise, if you do JPEG or something else, it's not going to have a clear background. Um, you want to check transparent background to make sure that it doesn't show a white background behind it. And right here where it says size, I'm going to scale this down to 32 by 32. Now you can see that's why I chose 64 by 64. So I could basically scale it down to exactly 0.5 and know it was going to hit 32 by 32. All right. So size it to 64 by 64 and I'll put it, scale it down to a half and click download. Okay, so that's down there. And all we gotta do now is come back here and click replace image. And let's see, delete added. Untitled design is the one that I just downloaded. Gonna go ahead and upload it. You can see in the preview it's showing this little flower icon. Click save and then that applied both the logo and the favicon. And it might take a little bit of time for that to show up in the address bar. Let's see if it's showing up already. Favicon's cache pretty hard so sometimes it, it might take a day or two for it to show up on your computer but it is going to show up on everybody else's computer uh, right away. And you can see in this one of my many 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 tabs you can see the little flower icon that I just uploaded. All right, that is how you upload a logo and a favicon to your big commerce store. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you need help, reach out to us over there at epicdesignlabs.com and be sure to join our community, uh, which is completely free at joinecommercegrowth.com. Thank you so much.